Hello, this is Michaela of Studio Octopus, and I'm here doing the uh, November Glossy Box Ketchup. This is the UK edition ketchup. So November was just a regular pink box, and I'll just go through each item talking about how I felt about it. I had more mixed feelings about this box in the end than I really thought I would. There's items that I knew I absolutely would like and I liked and other ones that I thought I would like and I actually wasn't that impressed by. But from the top we had the Ruby Professional Large Tapered Blending Brush and like I said in the video I actually really like this brush as well. I've liked all of the makeup brushes we've been getting from Glossy Box. This one specifically is very, very good for blending, like it says it is. It makes a very, very lovely smoky eye, and it's especially good paired with the very flat, dense mask brush that we got. That one is good for laying colour down, and then this one is super, super good at blending colour. So they make a good set together now that I have both. Really, really happy with this. This was £7.13 converted from €8 Euros, and I would say worth it. This is a super nice blending brush specifically. Very nice. Uh, what was next? Ooh, this was the thing that I thought I would like and I ended up not actually being that impressed by in the end. This was the uh, 111 Skin Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask, which I've used up now. So it was a single piece jelly-like sheet mask and it came with plastic on either side within the plastic sleeve, sleeve itself which from the get-go I think that's a little bit wasteful because I've had gooey sheet masks where they don't have the like plastic coating on either side or within a plastic coating itself and you can peel those apart absolutely fine so it does feel like a little bit of a, an extra waste of plastic to have the extra sheaths of plastic inside this one in particular the rubbery mask itself didn't stay on my face very well i think it was just slightly too heavy and also what just slightly not adhery enough unlike the star skin one which stayed on fine which i suspect was a slightly lighter in weight mask so this one just kind of sl kept sliding a bit and sliding down on the chin and the mouth and all of that stuff which wasn't super enjoyable and i also just didn't think the goo of this mask did that much for me to be honest but i don't know whether part of that i always like to sort of think like is it just because it's not suitable for me because this is a gold sort of anti-aging and brightening treatment mask and those aren't particularly the things that are for my, for, for my skin type but while I love face masks, this really wasn't that up there, especially for a £20 mask. This was £20, wasn't it? Yeah. It's like compared to the £10 star skin one, I know which one I'd rather buy. It's the star skin one. Uh, and alongside that, I've recently tried the Boots Ingredients sheet mask. I've just tried their hyaluronic sheet mask. And so £2, £2.50, it's actually really, really good. So not being super, super, super wowed for something that's £20, it's kind of just not good enough. But it was nice to get a face mask, but eh. Uh, what was next? Oh, the Wilkinson Sword Quattro Disposable Razors. We've got three razors in the pack. I've used up this one. One is upstairs being used and then I have one left. Uh, I actually like this more than I thought it was. I, I would, I definitely like this more than that one we got last time where it had the big chunk of sort of soap on the end around the razor. I didn't think that worked very well. I didn't like that that much. These are just more regular style disposable razors. I like the length and the shape of the handle. It's quite comfortable. And they are centered. They have kind of a really light, sweet, I would say sweet more than it actually specifically smells of raspberry scent, but it's nice enough. I'm still not particularly sure you need scented razors, but then it's like, I don't think these it makes them cost particularly any more than their regular ones. So it's just like a nice extra, but as disposable razors go, they were nice and they were only uh, a fiver for a couple of them. Nice enough. What was next? Oh yes, the Debrouille eye pencil, which I remember I said I was wary about. Let's let this focus. My face is here. 
I was wary about because it's a cream formula eyeshadow stick and I don't have the best experience with cream formula eyeshadow sticks with my very slightly hooded eyes and they're also a little on the oilier side, not like massively, but a little. I can't particularly wear this as a full eye um, eyeshadow. I've tried with primer, without primer, setting it with a similar coloured eyeshadow on top and you just have that thing where eventually you have like a gap in your eyelid where it's just kind of escaped away from it because of the, the shape of your eyes and the oiliness of your eyes. So that doesn't particularly work, which is a shame because it's such a lovely colour and I actually really like these stick formats. They're really convenient. The way I have been using it is as a slightly thicker than sort of eyeliner, eyeliner effect almost. So it's like I would put on a quite nice brown eyeliner and then layer this over it and you get sort of a nice shimmery eyeliner effect. And as long as I don't go any higher into my eyelid, it stays on absolutely fine. So I will be able to use this and it is actually quite pretty, but I can't use this as a, a normal full eyeshadow. The cream consistency just doesn't work for me. But there's nothing, that's just a, it doesn't work for me. There's nothing wrong with the item and it, I do still think it's quite pretty and quite nice looking. So that was that. And then the last step was the kiss, kiss, kiss lashes, which I also have mixed feelings about. And I think the main problem I have with it is the glue for the lashes didn't seem that good. Not as good, I don't think, as what you get in Isla lash kits. And I don't have different lash glue to use with these, so my experience with these hasn't been that great. But I don't think it's particularly the lashes. The lashes look really pretty. I've given them multiple goes, but I don't think the lash glue is that great. But you could buy these and use them with different lash glue. I also think personally I don't like a style quite this dramatic. They are a little more awkward to get on than something that is a little lighter or more natural looking. And to be honest, I'm not I'm not even particularly a special occasion I will wear false eyelashes kind of girl. Once in a blue moon I will wear false eyelashes. So I'm not probably not the best judge for them, but but yeah, they're, they're pretty enough. And I think these were pretty affordable. Yeah, they were only £4.95. These are actually cheaper than the razors. Uh, so yeah, that was my, that was my catch up for the November box. Pretty mixed feelings. I would say the only project that really stood out that I would genuinely go, I really like this, I would buy this, is the makeup brush. And it's not like, as usual, it's not like all of the other stuff is awful. It's just once you try it and you sort of go either, meh, that was okay, or like, it wasn't awful, but I, most of it I wouldn't buy myself. This I would buy. Very happy with this. How are we going? <laughs> Don't you just love an unexpected camera shut up? So that was the November 2016 UK edition Glossy Box catch up. Uh, yeah, mixed feelings about it, but still a positive experience. Nothing that I genuinely hate, which is general, generally my experience with Glossy Box. There's one or two items per box that I will go, this, this made the box worth it. Anyway, we, if you have your email set up, you should have gotten an email from Glossy Box asking you if you wanted the sugar box or the spice box. So in December, they're giving us a complete look in a box and it's either going to be quite neutral, light, sort of pinks uh, with the sugar box or a bit darker, a bit more evening wary with the spice box. I picked the spice box because I try and be a little bit braver in my makeup choices and I also thought the lipstick looked really, really, really pretty and very autumnal, wintry evening wear. Really lovely. So we should actually be getting those boxes super soon because they don't release the December box at the end of the month because no one would get it because that's Christmas. Uh, and I'm super looking forward to that. If I can find it, I will leave the link down below where you can pick your box if you are, uh, if you are a subscriber, if you happen to have not um, gotten the email. It's usually in the experience glossy box sort of area of the, the website, but if I can find it, I'll find it. Until then, uh, I hope you're having a nice winter, that it's not too cold where you are, and I will see you again next time. 
Hello, this is Michaela or Studious Octopus, and I'm here doing the November 2016. That's a Squeenix game. Mm. Or their own IPs, I believe, like Final Fantasy rather than ever.